So, everybody. So, hopefully, you can be sitting somewhere comfortable where you can sit in, up straight in your chairs, um, your feet on the ground, your hands in your lap. We want you to keep your bodies as still as possible, and that includes your heads, no dropping your heads. Um, if I was watching you physically and you dropped your heads, I'd believe you were sleeping and not meditating. Okay. Um, all right. So a, a lot of people move their hands touching their face because when that power builds, it can sometimes have a physical effect like a cobwebby effect on the top of your head and face. And if you move your hand to wipe it away or touch it, you're again, you're breaking your meditation. So let's begin then by sitting straight in our chairs, feet on the ground, hands in our lap, bodies perfectly still and now moving your hands and touching your face. So let's close our eyes. And let's begin to breathe a little deeper than we normally do. And as we do so, move your breath into the regular rhythm. And as you move that breath into a regular rhythm, begin to relax each part of your physical body, beginning with your toes and feet, and just simply become more relaxed with each breath. And as you become more relaxed, just allow your mind to focus on that rhythm of your breath. Then through your imagination, and your breathing. Begin to move your mind down from your head, down to the centre of your being. Just one breath, one step at a time, slowly but surely. As you move your mind down, create and become conscious of that spark of divinity, that spark of light that lies deep within. Then finally, allowing your mind to touch that spark of divinity and in turn, ignite the flame of your soul. With each breath, allow that flame to grow. The power and light of it filling the whole of your physical being. keeping your mind at the centre of it and experience the power and light of your spirit. There within it is all that you are, all that you can be and all that you have been. Simply experience the power of you.
from within your own power naturally. Allow that something to rise that has been negative that you cannot change from your experience of life. And with each breath, let it go. Or that something negative you feel about yourself as a person. Let it come naturally. And either accept it that it's you or acknowledge that you can change to a positive. Now it's time to recognise that something that lies deep within you that is good or godly in who you are and in that what you've done. Recognise it, allow it to rise to the surface and in turn empower you. With each breath now, using your imagination, allow your power and light to emanate from you. Your power and light filling the room you're sitting within. Then through your imagination, create and become conscious of a greater light in the far distance in the heavens above. And with each breath, one step at a time, allow your power, light and mind to move up and out 
to that greater light. Slowly but surely, one breath, one step. beginning to experience the emanation of that greater light as you move closer towards it. Till finally touching that greater light and beginning to merge with it. With each breath, Allow it to envelop you, moving you deeper and deeper into a oneness. A oneness with the divine power of all life and creation that you're a part of and belong to. And then simply just experience the wonder and your relationship with that divine power of life and creation.
let us now bring it to a close by taking this small moment to thank your God for the very gift of you and this day. Then through your breathing, bringing yourself back to your own physical awareness and consciousness. One breath, one step at a time, slowly but surely. Becoming aware of your physical body once more, simply feeling and moving your toes and feet, your ankles, your knees, fingers and hands, hips and elbows, your shoulders, your neck, and your head and slowly opening your eyes and having a little stretch if need be. Some of you may want to just take a little drink of water if you've got some water handy and next to you. So remember this is just um, a short version You've got to adapt it to your needs and use. You can use the first part on its own, the second part on its own, or do it collectively, the two parts together. Thank you so much, Paul. That was amazing.